Dad is going to make sausage gravy. This is pork sage sausage. If you want to know how to make gravy, watch the humper. I will show you how to make gravy. Very simple. All it is is sausage. I will show you how to make gravy. Okay. Very simple. He will show you how to make gravy. Very simple. A lot of people don't know how. I know. I'll, 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 I'll come back when he's ready for the next step. Okay, Lord. he's getting out the rest of his accoutrement. He's got milk and butter and what else? Flour. Flour. If he ever comes back. Get my flour out right now. Flour. Look, at, look at the sausage. Okay. okay. I'm going to turn this up. You want it a little bit hot? You want it hot? Take a little more butter and put it in there. About like that. You got to have a little butter. You got to have butter in there. So you can put your flour in with it and your flour don't get lumpy. So you take the bat, put that on the table. Okay, we'll come back when this is melted a little bit. Yeah. Okay, what were you gonna say? For making it really right, you should when you, you should use real, real lean sausage. Get a little bulk sausage from the store, a little fat in it because that makes a better flavor. And then use some like Bob Evans with uh, sage in it or some good sage sausage like I got here at Farmer's Market. This came from Chip But Shibana. instead of real, I ain't got no fatty stuff to put in there, so I'm putting butter in for a substitute. See, so you just let it cook down a little bit. Let that butter melt. When it gets some bubbling like that, see the bubbling in there? When it gets bubbling like that, you take flour. I'm going to keep it on the pan. You don't have to measure it. Take your flour like this. I'll turn it up a little more even. Take a little flour. You don't have to measure it. Just... Take a little flour like that and sprinkle in there. Sprinkle in your sugar. And sprinkle in your... Uh, sprinkle in your sugar. <laughs> and sprinkle in your flour. That's all you do. Put that back. There's no major. Put the lid back on your flour. Put the flour away. That's all the flour you need? All the flour you need right there. That's it. Huh. I don't even know how this is made. You got it know. You let that cook down, and you stir. You blend it in with your. You blend it in with your. Uh, your butter and that. So when you put your milk in, you won't get lumps in your in your gravy. That's this keeps from lumps from getting in your gravy. You fry that down in your hamburger, like in your in your sausage, like that. You can make hamburger gravy the same way too. A lot of people like hamburger gravy, but this is sausage. See, the flour's all gone. See that? Now you take your milk. You think it's going to be real runny when you pour this in there. You got to think, oh my God, it ain't going to work. See, see how? You see how it's just like. Bleh. Now just watch what it'll transform into when you keep stirring it. We'll come back momentarily. Okay, what? You never put a lot of milk in it first because you can't never add flour. You're going to have lumps. You can always add more milk. When it gets a little thicker, add a little more milk to the consistency you want it. See, to me, that looks like a lot of milk. Yeah, but see, I've it never made like it. a lot of milk, see? Now just watch it. It'll transform. Keep the thing on. It'll be amazing. Sing them a song or something. I'm going to sing a song and it won't take long. <laughs> doodle up, doodle up. It's all gone. You have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know that. Now see, I've only I've only been cooking this a couple minutes now, but you just watch. If it gets too thick, I add just a little more milk. Like you can always add milk, but don't add flour. So the first shot of flour is it. The first thing of flour is all the flour you use. You don't measure it, just pour some in there. You see how it's getting thicker now, like gravy? You see that? It's amazing, isn't it? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Now it's getting thicker. See there? See the gravy? Amazing. So I'm going to add, it's getting a little thicker, so I'm going to add just a little bit of milk. Not too much. Like I could say, you can always add milk, but you can never add flour. Do you put salt and pepper in it? You can salt and pepper or salt and pepper on the table, however you want to do it. We'll just salt and pepper our own, you know. 
because he likes more pepper and I don't like pepper. Yeah. See now, now look at there. See that gravy, how good it looks? I'm going to turn the stove down a little bit, let it simmer, but see there? That's gravy. Put that on your biscuits. You want to slap your mama. Now you want to preheat the oven to 350 for our biscuits. Did you get that done yet? That should have been cooking. That should have been started already. See, there's the gravy. I thought all you had done. the oven done. The raw biscuits have been sitting over there. I know it. I know it. This should have been done. But it don't take long to do. See how, uh, see how that looks? How's it look now, Stacy? Looks like gravy. Looks like gravy now. You see how that's, that's thickened right up? And I, I never put that much flour in, like I say. You can put more milk in, but no more flour. Do some people use cornstarch for gravy or no? Yeah, but I, I prefer flour. Oh. All right. It's getting real thick, so I'm going to just thin out just a little bit. Not a lot of milk, just a little what? That's all. I hear Heidi back there eating. Turn the stove up again again and get it hot. That's our dinner. Biscuits and gravy. I'm going to slice one of those tomatoes too. See how it is. You never made tomato gravy this year. No. i got to call Bill up and see if he wants some fajitas. He's home. All right. We're done. There's the gravy right there, people. That's the gravy. You see how easy that was? That's how you get it in the restaurant. Just like that. Saucy gravy. You put that on your taters. Good. Are your biscuits? Are your toast? That's all there is to making bear gravy. See how it's starting to bubble get thicker now? I'm going to add just a little bit more milk. That's it. All right. Thin her down a little bit, and it's just about right right now. Sign off. That's how you make sausage gravy.